Hi, my name is Emin Gunser. I'm the CEO of Ava Labs and one of the people behind the Avalanche blockchain. Um, until recently, I was also a professor of computer science at Cornell University, where my work focused uh, most recently on blockchains. And uh, I'm one of the main people uh, who advanced the science and engineering of blockchains in the last uh, decade or so. Uh, that work spans scalability, it uh, spans uh, performance of blockchains, it spans security, uh, making sure that coins at rest are not at risk, uh, building some of the fastest layer twos, and uh, coming up with some of the fastest, lightest weight uh, consensus protocols. That work most recently took me to the Avalanche protocol. Avalanche today is now a fully deployed system as of a year ago. So it's a new system, relatively speaking, uh, that has simply the best technology when it comes to blockchains. A couple of things differentiate Avalanche from its competitors. One of the main things is that it's blazingly fast because it uses a drastically different consensus protocol. Avalanche achieves time to finality in under a second. In the blink of an eye, transactions go from just having been born and proposed by whoever submitted them to being immutably accepted by the entire network. That's a very, very difficult task to do. Uh, and yet we can do it because we use a, a qualitatively different uh, way of achieving consensus among a very large number of participants. In addition, Avalanche is cheap to use because it has so much high such high capacity, it can accommodate many thousands of transactions per second and achieves throughputs on the order of three times the speed of Visa. And finally, Avalanche is green, it's eco-friendly, it's sustainable. It is, does not involve mining. It does not involve any kind of adverse impact uh, like melting down the poles uh, and, uh, and creating fossil fuel consumption. So, what then makes Avalanche from everything else? It's not just these, these are the features it has, but what's, what differentiates it is, is, is a couple of different things. First of all, it has a different vision from everything else that came before it. Whereas some systems, in fact, quite a few of them, try to compete with the dollars of the world, with the euros of the world, or with the golds of the world. Avalanche does all those things. It's a hard capped asset like Bitcoin, but that's not its sole mission. Whereas some platforms are general purpose computational platforms where you pay gas and you get some computation done. Avalanche is able to accommodate all that, but that's not its sole purpose or its even actual purpose. Avalanche is here to digitize all of the world's assets. That's a very different goal compared to Bitcoin and Ethereum. And it's built from the ground up for asset digitization. It is not a single coin universe. It's a, it's a universe where other people can create their own coins and maybe even issue them in a compliant fashion if that's what they want to do. And everything from the ground up is designed to capture the 72 trillion in asset value. That's not even in digital form today. One of the main things that Avalanche addresses with this technology is the scalability problem. To get that uh, 72 trillion of assets onto digital form, you have to be able to handle their transaction flow. And that's incredibly high. Avalanche does this by means of its uh, revolutionary consensus protocol, coupled with its, uh, its uh, foundational subnet structure, which allows disparate assets to be traded in different subnetworks without, uh, uh, without having to interfere with each other. Avalanche, in addition to its super fast speed, has a different network model. Whereas almost every other coin out there copies its network uh, model from Bitcoin, Avalanche is different. It permits somebody to create a sub-network within the Avalanche universe where different virtual machines following different specialized, potentially localized uh, instances of them uh, operate. So what that means is somebody who has compliance requirements can create a specific uh, subnet for their own legal jurisdiction. Somebody with performance requirements can build a subnet where the nodes have the higher uh, amount of uh, resources required to uphold those performance requirements. And finally, one of the main differentiating features of Avalanche is that it's truly decentralized. This is not a coin with just a little bit of backing from, uh, from just one or two actors. This is a coin built for the people by the people. So it's governed by virtue of people who have uh, tokens and uh, its per, uh, parameterization is done by token holders. Uh, everything about the system is supremely decentralized.
and that's at great odds with many of the other coins you see out there. It has uh, one of the best bridges in the industry and one of the best user experiences when it comes to dealing with assets on top of this platform. So what's new on the horizon for Avalanche? Well, Avalanche has been out for only about a year. As I mentioned, it's a brand new platform, relatively speaking. And in that year, it has uh, made tremendous, tremendous progress. It's now one of the top uh, dozen coins, even as I speak. And uh, quite a lot of things are happening. First of all, it's got a very vibrant DeFi community. Aave, Curve, uh, and uh, many other uh, blue chip DeFi uh, contracts, projects, are on Avalanche today. In addition, there are many Avalanche native projects like Banky, like uh, Trader Joe, like Pangolin, etc. Uh, that provide some of the, the crucial building blocks for other people to build even more exciting uh, smart contracts on top. It's a very attractive location for NFTs. There's a very vibrant NFT scene in Avalanche. And, uh, and then in addition to that, there are new assets being launched in, uh, on top of uh, this revolutionary platform. We take pride as a community in being one of the biggest leaders, thought leaders in the space. We innovate on every front and we're not here to just essentially redivide a finite size pie, but to grow it by uh, by coming up with new ways to digitize things that exist and also brand new digital assets that don't exist. In this vein, we have we invented the notion of ILOs, which are coming up soon, uh, where we do litigation financing through the, uh, by virtue of using tokens. Uh, we have algorithmic stable coins coming up, as well as uh, having new DEXs that provide, trans uh, that provide transactional guarantees that no other DEX to date can provide. So if you're sick and tired of being front run on other chains, having miners extract value out of your transactions, uh, then uh, Avalanche is uh, the chain for you.